pores have the same components that they have q so far and also rts next one identify the type of inhibition shown in the graph what is a very easy trick to identify this let's have a look at the three graphs okay what you have to do is just look at the lines the two lines if they are crossing each other agar ek cross kar rahe hain so remember that crossing lines c for c is competitive inhibition if the two lines are parallel like you see here the two lines are parallel so just make it a parallel line will become a u so remember this is uncompetitive inhibition uncompetitive is parallel lines if the two lines are forming a v right so v is like this usko aap n bana sakte ho ulta v seedha v basically ye ban gaya n right seedha v ulta v so remember v is a non competitive inhibition right these are the tricks which actually become your savior in the exam so look at the image now what kind of image is this it's a v which is formed here okay so v v seedha v ulta v this is going to be non competitive inhibition that is how you solve this question within seconds right so what kind of inhibition is this it's a non competitive inhibition okay it is non competitive inhibition remember non competitive okay you can write like this non competitive basically means no km is increased km is not increased here okay it is the v max which is changed it is the v max which decreases here the v max decreases and not the km okay and not the km also next time if you get a question that in the line weaver burk plot what does the y axis indicate and what does the x axis indicate so remember that line weaver is a double reciprocal plot okay you have one by something you have one by something it is reciprocal so it is double reciprocal plot remember on the y axis it is y v on the x axis x is s rhyming x is s one by substrate concentration on the y axis v y it is one by v so 1 by v on the y axis and 1 by s on the x axis that is what you have to okay that is what you have there is this clear with everyone